Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast. This is HealthCast number 315, The Benefits of Testosterone Pellets. BioBalance HealthCast features conversations about positive aging. Your hosts are Dr. Kathy Maupin, Medical Director of BioBalance Health and a leading expert in treating symptoms of aging, and Brett Newcomb, a licensed professional counselor. Dr. Maupin and Brett are the authors of The Secret Female Hormone, the seminal work about hormone replacement therapy for women, which is available on Amazon or from Dr. Maupin's office at BioBalance Health. Dr. Maupin's office is currently accepting new patients. Hormone replacement medicine is a new field. Uh, Hormones and the study of hormones, the practice of medicine around hormones has existed for a long time, or basically as long as medicine as a practice has existed. But doctors today, uh, there's a group of doctors, uh, age uh, resistance uh, medicine, age management, age management medicine, medical group, as a, as a focus specialty, is really beginning to focus on the replacement of hormones. As you age, your body begins to decrease the production of specific hormones that you've always had. It just it, It's part of the aging process. Some doctors figured out that if you replace those hormones, then you can slow down or reverse some of the aging processes, and you can benefit from that by either reducing or avoiding entirely many of the illnesses of aging that we associate with the aging process, that you can maintain your strength, your muscle mass, your balance, your bone density. You can avoid uh, or diminish the impact of things like Alzheimer's and dementia. Uh, heart you, disease. You, you can diabetes. Heart disease, diabetes. Uh, certainly diabetes. You mm-hmm. also can improve and regain the return of your sex life if you've lost it. And, and many men and women who have lost testosterone have experience, loss of interest in sex, loss of capacity for sex. And there, and there are huge markets for, for medicine and products that help get that back. But probably the most simple answer is replace the hormones that you had when you were an adolescent uh, to the levels that are required, not for, quote, normal, and we'll talk about that in a minute, but for symptom alleviation, for the reduction of the symptom of having lost the sex drive. So it, it's not like a magic sex pill. But most of the people that replace their their testosterone report that their sex life, the quality of it, the frequency of it, has improved. That they've gotten a lot of that back, and they're and they're pretty excited about it. And some are really scared initially. Uh, they report a sort of an intensity blush for that lasts the first couple of weeks, where <laughs> they they worry about you know, am, am I going to be crazed? Uh, and they are crazed. The, if they the longer they've gone without, without testosterone. It. Um, the like higher the level, yeah. yeah, because your your body's not used to having testosterone, so all of your receptor sites are open and right. accepting the testosterone, so it feels like a big burst or a an excessive, in some people's minds, sex drive. Right. So I have to reassure them that this will never happen again. It only happens after a long-term deprivation, and that this is this is not your sex drive forever. You know, no, no, not just two weeks. And no, I can't do it again. Yeah. I mean, I can't make it happen again if you like right. it. Right. I mean, my goal is not to make someone a different sexual person. Right. It's to make them the sexual person they, they were, were before. before. Yes. That they, they lost their testosterone. So that's one of the benefits of replacing hormones, and particularly the hormone testosterone. And as a, as a medical specialty, it's kind of a new thing. And in developing a practice around this over the last 15 years, one of the things that Dr. Boffin has had to do is overcome the resistance of other physicians who don't know what she knows, who haven't had the experiences that she's had. And so they're somewhat suspicious. I mean, again, they know about hormones, but they're, they're suspicious that this is a, a, medical, a magical answer uh, or a panacea of some kind. Well, it and kind of is just, a panacea, but they don't believe it. They think it is just, um, it, it's just making people think they're going to have like a placebo. They're going to have a better sex life, so it it makes them have a better sex life. But For that's not how it works. Time. Yeah, it's not. So, so we thought we'd spend today talking about 
the identified benefits of replacing hormones. And in particular, the focus is going to be on testosterone. But there are also other hormones that frequently need to be modulated or regulated because your body declines in the ability to make and, and maintain them. And, and, and I only use testosterone pellets. Right. And that is because it is the only type or delivery system mm -hmm. of testosterone that actually brings people back to normal completely. Mm -hmm. It doesn't just make them a little better. It doesn't just make a few symptoms go away. It makes symptoms go away and it prevents other illnesses in the future, the illnesses of aging. So by giving testosterone back as bioidentical, exactly like what we used to make in our ovaries and testicles, so it's, it is normal to our system, by giving it back under the skin, not through the skin, not through the vagina, not through the, uh, the oral cavity, where it changes, but under the skin where it's absorbed exactly like pure testosterone, that is the only way to give it and get complete relief. So by using the pellets and putting it under the skin, it creates an on-demand reservoir for your body. So it, you don't ride the metabolism circuit. Uh, it's like if you, if you take a pill orally uh, or if you use a cream, that's got to be metabolized. It's got to go through the skin. It's got to go through the blood-brain barrier. And it's changed. And Every it's, time it goes through the skin or goes through your stomach, right. it becomes something it different. Metabolized differently. Right. So with the testosterone tell it, pellet, that's already inserted under the skin, you don't have that transition mm -hmm. issue and your body then will find it and absorb it in the strength that it needs it, that it's natural for your body because it's a natural substance mm -hmm. and you have then what you had before. Right. You go, you literally go backwards mm -hmm. in terms of feeling younger, feeling healthier. And the one thing I want to stress is that all the uh, testosterone is the primary subject of this uh, talk, right, right. and that, that is because it is the trigger. When testosterone drops, mm -hmm. it's the trigger for aging, and everything we associate with aging is secondary to a loss of testosterone. Mm -hmm. Now, there's some downstream changes. Uh, it's like dominoes changes. falling over, like right. one of those domino exactly. things that So the do. first domino is testosterone right. going down, and everything we, we look at somebody and say, from a distance, I know they're old because... Right. Those are all the things we're preventing when we take testosterone. We both take testosterone. We both take it in pellet form. And I can honestly say, and I don't really like to use myself as an example, but I can honestly say that right now I feel better than when I was 38. And I am physically better than well, when but, I was 38. But you had significant physical issues that were hormone related when you were 38. Right. That, I was already starting to, to lose testosterone. Experience. Yeah. And now you don't have any of those physical issues anymore because your hormones have been replaced. Mm -hmm. So that's exactly I mean, it's a, right. It's a, it truly is a magical change. Mm -hmm. But in terms of talking about sex, and then we'll get off of it and talk about these other benefits. Well, that's the first change we want to talk, or benefit we want to talk about is and, and it's true sexuality. as a benefit for both men and women. I mean, there's a huge market out there for ED medicines for men. And what's interesting, if you look into them, is that a lot of men go and get them when they start to have trouble getting an erection or maintaining an erection or having an orgasm. They get the medicines for erectile dysfunction, and that improves their ability to get an erection or maintain an erection. But it doesn't necessarily improve their ability to have an orgasm, and it doesn't improve their sense of satisfaction, engagement, desire for having sex because it's an, uh, tangentially connected but unrelated issue. The issue is the loss of the sex drive that comes from the loss of testosterone. So when you replace the testosterone, quite often, and finish the thought about ED medicines, a lot, of, a lot of men try them two, three, four months, and then they quit trying them. Mm -hmm. They just give up on it. And they say, well, it's not helping me, well, even though I have the erection. It, there's no desire to no help. Right. All it is is a functional help right. with having an erection, but it doesn't make you want to have sex. Everything that has to do with sex is testosterone. Right. I mean, our brains run on, our desire part of our brain runs on all of the neurotransmitters that are stimulated by testosterone. So if you don't have testosterone, you're not going to have a healthy, young sex drive. Right. And you are kind of brainwashed by, your, by the adaptations of your brain mm -hmm. where you go, oh, did I really have a sex drive? When was that? 
how much sex drive did I have? Yeah. Did I really have fantasies? I can't remember. I mean, seriously. Well, it's kind of like you eat a big Thanksgiving meal. And you say, oh, my God, I'll never eat again. I'll never eat again. I'm so bloated. <laughs> and then, you know, 24 hours later, you're starving and you've got to have something to eat. You, mm -hmm. you, your body's the same way. Right. And, and you know that. And it's also true for women. But it also adapts your brain so that you don't think right. that you have no sex drive. You kind of diminish it. I mean, it's an adaptation. Well, and, it, and that is why some people go, oh, I don't have any problem with my sex drive. And they come back after they have testosterone and they go, oh, whoa, my sex drive is so much better. You make the adaptation and you make the accommodation. You know, it's like, oh, it must be because I'm working so hard because there's so much stress or because I'm mm -hmm. so busy or because the kids are so demanding. Or because or, I'm old. <laughs> or because I'm old. You know, I just don't, I can't run up that mountain anymore. Don't want to. And then you get some testosterone and it's like, well, that's not a mountain. That's a hill. Yeah. yeah meet you at the top. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, they're very happy with the outcome. They are. And there's, and many are surprised. Mm -hmm. And even, even though we tell them, even though, we, yeah, even though we give them, I always say this is going to happen. And if you don't want this to happen yet, you want all the other benefits of testosterone, right. you're still going to get a sex drive. Well, and that's interesting because situationally, especially with elderly women, some Elderly women, mean means 80 to me. So we're talking to anybody over 50. <laughs> but some of them have lost their husbands. Their husbands have died. Uh, and they're not interesting, interested in finding a random or occasional sex partner. They're mm -hmm. not interested in getting laid. They're not, they don't really, they're uncomfortable with the thought that they would be uh, discombobulated by a, an arousal state that they don't have any option for satisfying. But they want the other benefits that we're going to be talking about mm -hmm. that come from testosterone. And so one of the keys is to find a doctor that is competent at diagnosis and uh, setting limitations for the amount that you are given so that you can achieve the objectives that you want. Sex some drive of, is some of them dose related. specifically come in and say, I want this, but I don't want that. Can you can you walk this line? And you say, not perfectly, but some. We can we can find a balance. Mm -hmm. And you will spend the time with them to do that mm -hmm. and to diagnose what their concerns are and to provide the optimal return for what they're achieving. The, the necessary management of hormones, and especially bioidentical hormones, because every other hormone is here, take this pill. We don't care what happens, really, just, you know, you won't have hot flashes. Right. This is about being normal again. So it takes um, someone who is skilled in managing blood levels, managing dosages, and making it perfect for that person. Mm -hmm. Because every person is different in the level they used to have, the level they require now. I mean, we have to make sure that we are getting them to their normal, and the response is the response they want. I can never say you're not going to get a sex drive, right. because if you have enough testosterone, to fix uh, someone's autoimmune disorder like rheumatoid arthritis or their joint pain or their migraines, in general, your sex drive comes back. Right. So then we have to educate them right. on using vibrators or self-massagers or whatever you want to call them because that is something that they can do. And we just recently posted a health cast that discusses the, exactly that solution. And you have to have some of those conversations with those individuals. Well, now that I've started asking women, this is an aside, whether they have any experience with vibrators, mm -hmm. most of them have. Yeah. Most of them come to see me have, which is not what I expected. So I, that's an aside. So besides sex, which is usually one of the best side effects from or, or benefits from testosterone pellets, the second most important um, benefit... Gain. Yeah, that they is, recognize. Is that my patients have much more energy because as you lose testosterone, you get tired. Your muscles get tired. You don't feel like doing things. You don't initiate going to the park or doing a, you know, a 5K or whatever you used to do. You just sit and think about it So without testosterone. But when you get your testosterone back, you go, oh, let's go do this. And if you're not somebody who likes to leave the house much, then it's more like, hmm, let's clean out that closet. Let's, you know, have a few friends over, that kind of thing, because you don't have to go out, out of your environment to be initiating. If you have an experience that you don't really, you can't really appreciate the, the devastating impact of loss of energy. I, I was thinking as you were talking, about, I had a number of clients who were suicidal. 
who would talk about being suicidal and having the desire to commit suicide, but didn't have the energy. I mean, they, the gun could be across the room and they could be sitting there looking at it and thinking, I need to do that, but they couldn't get up out of the chair. That's not the energy it. I want to give anyone. No, no, no <laughs> but, but my point is, they what we knew and what we had to talk about and prepare for is when they began to get their energy back, the energy came back prior to the mood mm -hmm. elevating. When you're so using they were antidepressants. At risk. Exactly. But the, the point I'm making is the loss of energy where you were just sitting and thinking, I don't want to do that. I can't do that. You know, I, I'm hungry, but it's too much trouble to go fix a sandwich. Right. And right. Even so they that. just don't do things. Well, I mean, when my, over, my ovaries were removed, all I wanted to do was stay in bed. I didn't want to go to work. Yeah. I didn't want to do the wash. I didn't want to eat. I didn't want to, I mean, I didn't want to work out. I didn't want to do anything. Right. It was just like curl up in bed and hide from the world. And that's what I felt like. Not because I had not recovered from a hysterectomy, because I had. Even after that, that was one of the issues. Because I had a job where when you deliver babies, you're up for 36 hours. You have to have stamina. Mm -hmm. You have to have the ability to, it's like being a long distance runner, only in terms of staying awake and being completely with it and being strong physically so that you can help someone deliver their baby. So I was exhausted. And that was my loss. I mean, maybe not everyone has that energy in the beginning, I mean, or ever, but that was me. Mm -hmm. And when I lost it, I was gone. And now I'm back. <laughs> and along with energy, the thing that we talk about that comes next is, is a sense of more mental sharpness, more mm -hmm. mental acuity. I don't know if you've ever had the experience of grasping for a word or trying to remember who starred in a movie or what you were doing yesterday. You know, what would you do on your day off? Oh, God, I don't remember. <laughs> you know, that, that mental yeah. fog that some of us become possessed by is in some measure impacted by hormones and particularly by testosterone. So it, if you get the right hormone balance, there is a sense of mental sharpness and mental acuity that you will experience. Go back and watch Jeopardy again. You can, yeah. you can play better. <laughs> yeah, you can do crossword puzzles better. You can, you know, that's all right. recall. So this is a recall Related. loss, yeah. and it's, all, it's always the same. People say, well, I can't remember the name of my friends. I can't remember the name of my, um, uh, my restaurant, my favorite restaurant, or the street it's on. It's a recall thing. Mm -hmm. So you can, you can pick. It's like multiple choice is fine, but you can't do recall. So it always starts coming back, and usually by the end of the first year, it's back, but it doesn't come back immediately because you got to get blood flow to that area of the brain. Well, and there are different kinds of, of memory and memory training or memory organization. Mm -hmm. I mean, I used to have like a Rolodex memory. You asked me a question, and it was a mm -hmm. fact-based question. The answer would just appear. It would just be right here. I didn't have to think about it. I would find out the mm -hmm. answer. I know the answer. As I lost my hormones and that didn't begin to work, I had to figure out where I'd filed it. That took me a while. Mm -hmm. You asked me a question, I have to think about it. What I'm mm -hmm. thinking about is not what's the answer. But what do I associate with the answer? Where do I know that material from? Who? How? Where's that on the page? And then very often it would come to me, but it took longer, and it was very frustrating for me. Now that I'm back on mm, yeah. testosterone replacement, a lot of that, not all of that, but a lot of that has returned. Mm -hmm. And a lot of those things that I would pride myself on, on knowing, I still know. A lot of people come in and they're, they're crying because they think they have Alzheimer's disease at yes, 45 or, or 50, and they come in and cry when they find out that this is a common thing, mm -hmm. that it reverses, that people get better. They're not going to end up losing their mind before they're 50 or before they're 60. So in general, people's brains come back and come back to the youthful level. So yeah. that's, that's one of those things that is so reassuring when you're a patient and all of a sudden you start feeling everything come back. That's important. But it's not like you just walk into a room and, and it was white yesterday and it's blue today. It's not a dramatic thing. It, you just feel an overall sense of quality of life and energy mm -hmm. and sharpness and capacity that comes back mm -hmm. when you replace the testosterone. Which is, which is why we're all here. Yeah. I mean, we're all here to do jobs and take care of our families and, and earn money and do what you have to do to stay alive. But we're really here because of our spiritual our spiritual self mm -hmm. and because we want to make that spiritual self better and we also want to benefit society by being here we can't do that without the sense of well-being and 
another sense of well-being or another contributor to well-being is our sense of how well or not well we sleep. Right. And with hormone mm-hmm. replacement, another benefit of hormone replacement is that we improve our sleep quality and mm-hmm. our sleep duration. And we don't wake up all night. Yeah. So usually people who um, have the loss of sleep because of aging Mm -hmm. uh, can go to sleep. They're exhausted. So they go to sleep, but then they keep waking up. Mm -hmm. Not to go to the bathroom and not because of a hot flash. Both men and women wake up through the night and can't go back to sleep. Right. And often can't go back to sleep through the next night. So it's a huge problem. They don't get enough sleep. They're exhausted. Mm -hmm. And when they do get some sleep, they're not rested. So that that makes their fatigue worse, their thinking worse. Everything is much worse because they haven't gotten REM restful sleep. So testosterone brings that back. It doesn't bring it back in people who have always, since they were children, had, had insomnia. That's a different issue. That's a, that's a neurotransmitter wiring issue of their brains. Mm-hmm. But it does bring it back in people who, who have lost their ability to sleep soundly and then get it back with testosterone. So the message of today is that as you age, you lose a significant amount of the hormones that, you've, that your body's always made. It's naturally made. And as you lose them, your body ages and you become less functional, more subject to uh, illnesses, and disease attacks from other sources, less defended against them. Doctors have now learned that they can replace the the hormones that you have lost and replace them at the levels that ought to be there for you for for your optimal benefit. And and we talk about normal levels. Those are lab definitions, and we'll do other health casts on how that's derived. But the the approach that Dr. Moffin uses and doctors like her use is symptom reduction. Let's look at what it takes to make you able to put the walker away, to make you able to have enough mm-hmm. balance or to hold your head up straight or have enough bone density that if you step off the curb and fall, you don't shatter mm-hmm. your hip. You know, we, we want you, even to the end of your life, to be healthy and functional and active. And, and independent. And independent. And so hormone replacement is one of the better ways to do that. And we have a list of benefits that, that accrue from hormone replacement. And we'll be talking about more of those in the coming days. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Email your questions or comments to podcast at biobalancehealth.com. You can find the Biobalance HealthCast on iTunes and on YouTube. For more information about bioidentical hormone pellet therapy and other reverse aging solutions, visit biobalancehealth.com or call 314-993-0963. You can find Dr. Maupin on Twitter at Dr. Kathy Maupin and on Facebook at facebook.com slash biobalancehealth. Find Brett Newcomb at brettnewcomb.com.